So fire season is over. We can run around this little Jeep again. Um, just a weird thing. I got here and my fuel line was pulled off and there was mud stuck to the end and nobody was driving it so I don't know how that happened then I shook off the mud there was still an obstruction in there and there was a little rock jammed in all the way at least an inch into the line so that's weird anyways we got it out so this is a mid or rear engine style also a little jeep and um the problem is it has a really long fuel line and this used to be just sag here <laughs> i thought i took a video but apparently i didn't so anyways um yeah now we tied it up and um it's not sagging anymore <laughs> that will help but um before it caused problems because um there could be um especially without any pumps or so any fuel pumps there could be a lack in the fuel transport going downhill and you have stalling happening that happened to me quite a lot one of the problems fixed now the stalling and yes especially downhill and even from the idle suddenly the stalling that was a real bummer Not anymore though. So we finally think we got it fixed. As you can hear here, this is no choke anymore. This new carburetor and even in the idle, there is no stalling even when cold. Um, that was very encouraging. And we're gonna take it for a spin in a moment. going uphill engine still not particularly warmed up um, it's, it's, a, it's a little bit off-road as you can see <laughs> it's over sticks and stones and um, so far so good steep little knoll coming up here Going up, lots of power, looks great. And here we are going down, and that's where the problems used to be. Going downhill, stalling, stalling, stalling. But this works a whole lot better. pump we put in it's 4.5 psi max and i think it helps the fuel delivery and there's a little nibby yay so that's the carburetor these guys come with and um, we already got a replacement early on you can see my other videos and it worked for exactly two hours so these things they, they cost 22 Canadian, so you can imagine, you know, how cheaply built they are, and that's exactly the problem. So, garbage. Get yourself a nibby. And that's the other upgrade we did. We moved the battery up behind the driver's seat. So much easier to reach. <laughs> 